Hello, I'm Alex, and today I'll show you how easy it is to install a Grower Quick Fix wash basin tap with a pop up waste set using Grower Start as an example here. It sounds complicated, but it's not. An important note beforehand this installation also applies to many other models with pop up waste set, even if your model looks completely different. And one more thing of course, you should turn off the water before installation. First, let's check what's in the box. Of course, take a look at the enclosed installation manual. Using the QR code, you'll find further important information and eventually the installation video. In order to install your new tap, all you need is this 3-in-1 installation tool and a small Phillips screwdriver. Let's get started then. First, you have to slide this black seal over the hoses so that no water can flow between the tap and the wash basin later. Here, you have to pay attention to the correct alignment. The collar of the seal must point downwards, as this will later lock the tap centrally in the tap hole of the wash basin and therefore ensure that it covers the tap hole. It's best to install the pull bar directly. It's simply inserted through the hole provided. Depending on the wash basin, it can be a little trickier when the tap is screwed in place later. Insert carefully and then you're done. Now prepare the counter screw. There are small tabs in the rubber holder that prevent the crescent from falling down again as long as the fastening nut is not yet screwed onto the bolt. Then slide the whole thing underneath the wash basin over the fastening bolt with the rubber holder facing upwards. Simply hand tighten, then tighten with the 3-in-1 installation tool until the tap no longer twists on the wash basin. However, beware, it will come off if you tighten it too far. Next, it's the flexible connection hoses turn. These already have an integrated seal and can be easily connected directly to the angle valves. The right hand hose is always for cold water and is also connected to the right hand angle valve. The left hand hose is for hot water and goes to the left hand angle valve. You simply place the screw connection on the thread and turn it hand tight until it stops on the thread of the angle valve. Then tighten it firmly with the enclosed 3-in-1 installation tool until the connection is tight. Make sure that the hoses do not become kinked or twisted. It's best to hold the hoses by hand or with a suitable tool when tightening them. Super! Is the water flowing? Not yet. Before you can turn on your new tap, you must certainly install the drain. To do this, take the plug out of the drain and then unscrew it first. The foam seal remains on the drain funnel, which you now simply insert through the drain hole in the wash basin. Place the black seal on the bottom part of the drain and screw it into the funnel from below. Make sure that the drain fitting is tightened so that the drain valve is tight. You can tell it's tight because the white seal has pulled itself tightly against the ceramics. The pull bar must point backwards after the drain fitting has been tightened. For this, you need this little joint here. First, pass this over the pull bar and then attach it to the horizontal bar of the drain. Now push the pull bar up a little so that it will be easy to grip later and fix it with the small screw. If necessary, you can now adjust the drain plug so that the water drains slower or faster. In order to do this, turn the screw at the bottom of the plug in or out to set the desired height. You can fix your setting with the help of the small metal nut. Now all you have to do is install your siphon and then test your new fitting. Now slowly open the angle valves and check that everything is tight. Here's a little tip. First, turn the angle valves all the way to the left and then back again a half or a quarter turn. The valves will then be easier to operate in the future. Finally, let some water run into the closed basin in order to check whether everything is tight. We did it! 
That was quick and easy, wasn't it? 